In 2022, Alexander Inozemtsev, Deputy General Director of the United Engine Corporation and head of the production complex Perm Motors, spoke about the engine tests on experimental MC-21-310 aircraft and the organization of PD-14 serial production. He said that the first flight of the MC-21-310 with PD-14 engines took place in December 2020, and since then, a rigorous certification testing program has been underway. The aircraft is being certified, and the aircraft engine combination is being thoroughly studied. Hundreds of engine parameters are also being tested. Acoustic tests have been completed, and specialists from the Central Aerohydrodynamic Institute, TSAGI, are processing the collected data. By October 2022, 114 flights had been completed. He said he is confident that the results would meet the standards since Perm Motors has fine-tuned many engine parameters at an open test bench in Perm. Currently, two MC-21-310 aircraft are participating in the tests. One, aircraft MC-0112, is flying with engines number 15 and 16, while the other, MS-01, has engines number 17 and 18. Additionally, a reserve engine, number 14, has been provided to the customer in case a replacement is needed during flight tests. Approximately 130 test flights are planned for the first aircraft and 80 for the second. Approval of the main change to the MC-21-310 type certificate, which involves re-engining the aircraft, is expected in December 2022. Recently, it was decided to re-engine a third aircraft for which two more engines were ordered. Thus, by 2023, three MC-23-10 aircraft will be flying, he had said. It is worth noting that in December 2023, the Federal Air Transport Agency, Rosa Viazia, granted permission for the MC-21-300 and 310, equipped with PD-14 engines to carry 211 passengers, which is 36 more than previously allowed. Before this permit was issued, emergency evacuation tests for passengers and crew were conducted. The first test flight of the MC-21 aircraft, equipped with perm-made PD-14 engines, was expected in 2024. A version of the MC-21, with American engines and a wing made of domestic materials, had already flown in 2021. In the new version, 36 systems will be replaced along with the engine. In October 2023, a meeting took place in Perm between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Alexander Inozemtsev, Managing Director and Chief Designer of JSC UEC Aidvigital. Inozemtsev reported to the President on the serial production of PD-14 engines for the MC-21 aircraft. He noted that three MC-21 aircraft are currently equipped with serial PD-14 engines, and eight such engines have been produced. The plan for 2024 is to produce 12 engines, with further production expected to increase to 24 or more. However, in May 2024, the head of Rostec, Sergei Chemizov, on the sidelines of the Federal Assembly, said, the new Russian aircraft MC-21 has not yet passed all the tests, so the serial production dates are being postponed. He said could not tell the exact dates for the completion of the tests, but noted that there will be no serial production of the MC-21 in 2024. Tentatively, production may begin in 2025 or 2026. This week, Alexander Dolotovsky, Deputy General Director of PJSC Yakovlev and Director of the MC-21 program, detailed the major priorities for the coming year, including completing import substitution and launching the aircraft into commercial operations. During an interview with the Telegram channel Notes of Aircraft Builders, he disclosed the measures required to achieve these aims. According to him, the key goals of the MC-21 program are to complete certification flight testing on import-substituted MC-21 models and to begin construction of a smaller passenger capacity version of the aircraft, the MC-21-210. It is also important to enable consistent serial production and the beginning of commercial operation of the MC-21-310 aircraft. To achieve these goals, we all need to take a sober look at where we are, identify all the constraints, and determine ways to eliminate them. But I will say right away that I am in favor of a consistent and progressive approach. A lot of work has already been done, the results of which should be multiplied rather than lost, the MC-21 program director said. 
The program envisages further steps by the Directorate, including coordination of all processes related to the aircraft program. These include the release of design documentation, certification, collaboration with suppliers, production site preparation, and additional product support throughout the life cycle. The director said, our entire company's work is aircraft development and production. To achieve this goal, we will subordinate all of our efforts because even perfectly organized individual processes may not yield the desired outcome. The main tool for achieving this task is end-to-end -end and transparent planning. Our company has already implemented it, and we aim to enhance our work by modifying detailed program plans for all activity areas within the agreed budget for the remaining years of 2024 and 2025. We will then update the plans for 2026-27. I would like to emphasize that only movement within the framework of a single, logically justified cross-cutting plan will allow us to achieve our goals within the set time frame. It's like assembling an aeroplane. Unless all the parts are in place, it will not fly. Alexander Dolotovsky spoke. Despite not being directly involved in the MC-21 program until recently, he noted that the principles of management and life cycle stages in aviation programs are similar. The chain of cooperation is already almost aligned, and with the promotion of the decision to create a single engineering center, the technical expertise and experience gained in the Superjet 100 program will organically intertwine on one platform with the experience and competencies gained in the MC-21 program. I'll do my best to ensure that this movement benefits the entire company and contributes to the success of both programs. As I have already stated, our main task on the MC-21 program is now to successfully complete the certification testing program and start serial deliveries on schedule, as well as to launch development work on a new member of the family, the MC-21-210. This is the path we have consistently followed with the Superjet program, Alexander Dolotovsky emphasized. He expressed confidence in the support of the whole team and noted that joint work is necessary to achieve a common goal. The MC-21 program is an ambitious project that requires clear planning and a team approach. Now, do you think Russia will be able to start serial production even by 2027? Please let us know in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Also, please join our memberships to encourage us.